take photo and after him you can try. Okay, get your cameras ready. Photo first and then you try. After snipering at enemies, he tried to put the lead in the hole again. Photo, photo. So difficult for him to for them to find him that way. Okay, right. Call it a target trap. Why? They copied in Central Highland originally. It was made for catching tigers. But later, for the soldiers who jumped out of helicopters, you know, South Vietnamese Army and the US Army came here on military operation by helicopter. The helicopters remain in the air, three or four meters above the ground, and then the soldiers jump out. Fall down to the trap. Look. Fall down. So I call it a simple nail trap. Look at the next one. That one is called a metal spine, collapsible. They put a bamboo stick from this side to the other to support the spikes. Step on, the bamboo stick in the middle is broken and the nails come together. Look. And they strike at the ribs or armpit. Come here to see it better, mate. Look at that one. That's a rolling leg slicer. One of the most horrible traps. They fall down and the trap roll from the leg to the head, like this. So I call it a rolling leg slicer. And that's one. I call it a director chair trap. Director chair. I don't think anybody wants to sit on it. Step on, the nails come together. Look to see how it works. Step on. That's how it works. And this one is similar to the first one. It is specially made for the German Shepherds used by the US Army. And this is a souvenir one, a souvenir truck. They put it in the hole and then they camouflage it just for them to step on it like this. Someone, the nails go deep into his leg, especially the one at the bottom here. For them to step on, they step on either side. That one, and this one, the other one, strike them and hit it. Step on this side. Look. The other side, strike them. They step on this side. Look. Like this. The other side, strike them.